It's time to play Super Brit in Germany. Hi everybody, welcome back to Brit in Germany. This week it's a Super Mario theme. Super Mario, yeah bro. <laughs> I have a special book here. It's a voter book for kids. Kids, that's not a German word. Wait a second. After J is K. Ah, kid, yeah. Decline. The Siegen Leder. That's a goat. Kind. What a Spaß machen. Yeah, richtig. Kid to kid someone. Spaß machen. Anyway, it was published in 1992, so it's 24 years old. So it is a absolute gem, and I'm very happy I found it. It's almost as old as this Game Boy, which is from 1989. Fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. This dictionary is from Langenscheid, which is a common dictionary for foreign languages. Classic! <laughs> yeah! It also has a Daumen Kino in it, which is a flick book. And Daumen Kino translates to a thumb cinema. And Mario is jumping up and down on that little dinosaur. You're making cinema with your thumb. <laughs> so it's a really great literal translation. But before we look inside the dictionary, I'm going to do a quiz question. This week's quiz question is about the Brothers Grimm. Why the Brothers Grimm? Well, they actually wrote a dictionary as well. Fun fact, in which Bundesland were the Brothers Grimm born? Is it A, Schleswig-Holstein? Is it B, Hessen? Or is it C, Saarland? Do you know the answer, Mario? He's being very quiet. Um, <laughs> let's begin with learning some German with Mario. By the way, this video is absolutely 100% not sponsored by Nintendo. I'm showing you this because it's just absolutely beautiful. To keep this video interesting, I'm going to show you these coloured pages. I think Yoshi's in here somewhere. Yoshi, where are you? Oh, Princess Peach! First one is um, showing Zeit. As we can see, Mario is pointing at a clock, and the German word Zeit can mean four or since in English. Four means a Zeitdauer, a duration of time, and since is used for a Zeitpunkt, which is a point in time. You can say for a week, Zeit einer Woche, or since nine o'clock, Zeit neun Uhr, or einundzwanzig Uhr, natürlich. Continuing on, Mario wants to borrow money from Princess Peach, but Princess Peach doesn't seem too keen on the idea. No, I'm not giving you money, Mario. You earn enough as a plumber. Which is kind of sad because Mario's done so much for Princess Peach, saving her all the time, and she's not willing to help him out in times of need. Mm, shame on you, Princess Peach. And we can see that the German verb for that is lion. And in English, it can mean two verbs, to borrow or to lend. With borrow, you get something from someone, and with lend, you give something to someone. It's quite interesting that one German verb means both. Plenty of words, but we're not looking for words today. We are looking for... Oh, I found another one! Tragen! To wear or to carry. So, heute ich trage ein blaues T-Shirt, or ich trage dieses Wörterbuch auf meinem Kopf. That means I'm carrying the dictionary on my head. <laughs> And we can see that in the picture, Mario is wearing his American football outfit. No, is it American football? Yes, it is. And he's also carrying and spilling a glass of cola. And the question I'm asking is, why is Mario on his tiptoes and uh, raising the glass up? Maybe he's serving a really tall person, you know? Here, take it. Yes. Oh, more verbs coming up. The German verb bringen can mean three verbs in English. To take, to bring, and to get. Kannst du diese leeren Kisten in den Keller bringen? Bring mir ein Geschenk. Bring me a present. Or you can say, bring ihm ein Glas Wasser. Schnell. Get him a glass of water quickly. The next one here is V. And that can mean how or what like. So, for example, wie geht es dir? How are you? Wie geht es Mario? Er sieht nicht gut aus, er sieht krank aus. Or you can say, wie ist Mario so? What kind of person is Mario? I'm not sure if people still say that actually, I've never heard it. Wie ist jemand so? And we can see here Mario is dressed up like a sheriff, so wie ist Mario so? Hmm, ja, er ist ein Sheriff. <laughs> oh, and the next one we've got is Fehler, which is a German word that means mistake, error or fault. 
In the picture we can see that Mario is driving a first prototype for the Mario Kart games. <laughs> he's missing a wheel so he's trying to compensate for that using a balloon. <laughs> Good luck with that Mario. Die Werkstatt hat einen Fehler gemacht. They forgot to put a wheel on the car. Es war ein Fabrikfehler. It was a factory error. Es war nicht ein Fehler von Mario. It was not Mario's fault that the wheel is missing. Okay, <laughs> what do we have next? Ah, we've got Bowser holding a torch, trying to get into Mario's house. The German verb is lassen, which means to let or to leave. Mario lässt Bowser nicht ins Haus. Mario doesn't let Bowser in the house. I can also say Mario lässt die Tür immer geöffnet, which means that Mario always leaves the door open. So it's no wonder that Bowser is trying to get in because the door's wide open. On the next page, we've got a picture of Mario holding some cash and looking very suave, but I don't know why he's floating. That's a bit odd. <gasps> Oh, I know why he's floating. The German phrase is Vorname tool. English translation means to give oneself airs. So he's giving himself air by floating. <laughs> oh, right, I get it now. The last one today, because time is ticking on, is Fertig sein, to be ready and to have finished. We've got Mario holding a checkered flag in the picture next to him. He's also finishing up his painting. Picasso masterpiece. Mario is waving the checkered flag at the start of the race. To be ready. Alla fertig. Everyone ready? Er ist fertig mit seiner Malerei. He's finished with his painting. Speaking of Mario and painting, I've got something special to show you. Mario paints always with Mario paint. Yes, it's another vintage treasure that I found and it's one of the only games that came with a mouse. I just wanted to show you because it's a great treasure. And in the book Mario is completely clean and not covered in paint but with this game he's gotten a little bit messy with his art as you can see. Es sieht wunderschön aus. Sehr gut Mario, sehr gut. Okay, and I'm afraid that's all we've got time for. Bye bye, Super English Dictionary. Bye. How's it? How's it? Yeah, bye. <laughs> Let's put that away for next time. Now I'm going to reveal the answer to the quiz question about the Brothers Grimm. I can reveal. Do, 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 do. Will. Hessen is the answer. Well done if you guessed correctly or if you knew it. Extra points if you knew it. This is another reason I do the quiz questions because I can also learn stuff about Germany as well. As you can tell, I'm a bit of a Mario fan. Um, are you also a Mario fan? Let me know. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. I hope you learned something. It's really interesting to look inside this dictionary and I hope it was interesting for you. I'll see you again soon for another Britain Germany video. And until then, I'll be busy playing this Mario Paint game. Bis nächste Woche. Tschüss. Ah, ah, come on, come on, get him, get him. No, Donkey Kong, damn you. <laughs> Time to use the Britain Germany power up. Damn you, Princess Daisy. Why do I bother rescuing you? What? What's this? Britain Germany? Someone's hacked my Game Boy. How's that happening? Ah, ah, oh. Game over.